are often considered the starter livestock animal. I've seen lots of memes about preparing if your wife said she wants to get chickens that you're going to end up with goats and donkeys and who knows what else. But it is true that chickens are a great animal to get started with on your either your homesteading journey or if you just want to sort of reconnect with natural systems and producing your own food in your own backyard, chickens are a great way to start that journey. So today we're going to look into why chickens are the perfect gateway livestock animal. The thing about livestock is that they are not pets. So lots of people are quite familiar with dogs and cats, the pets that we keep. But dogs and cats are very, very different from most livestock species. Livestock species, and that includes chickens, are usually prey animals, with the exception of pigs. So they exist lower on the food chain, and their motivations for their behavior are influenced by that fact that lots of things want to eat them most of the time. And chickens are at the very bottom of all the food chains. Everything wants to eat a chicken, so they've always got that in the back of their mind. And that influences how they behave, and it influences how it's best to handle them and the environments that we need to create for them. So it's a great learning experience to learn how to handle your chickens correctly. And that is a great lesson if you're going to move on to bigger livestock because chickens are pretty safe. You can mess up pretty hard when you're handling chickens and you're going to be okay. You're not going to get hurt. You might get pecked, you might get a fright, but nothing more serious is going to happen to you. If you make mistakes in handling or understanding larger animals, even a small sheep, you could be in a lot more danger. Even a sheep or a goat can cause quite some significant damage to people if they decide to. So, learning how to safely handle livestock and how they behave and how that's different from animals like dogs and cats is a great lesson and chickens are really good at teaching it. Having a flock of chickens can help you learn to understand about meeting the needs of the species of livestock that you have. So dogs and cats and even horses to a slightly lesser degree are what I would consider companion animals. They are motivated to hang out with you, the human being, and so they're quite forgiving about the things we do and the way we keep them. Livestock animals like chickens and cows and sheep and pigs and goats are not really companion animals. That's not that their domestication pathway with humans. So they're much less forgiving. They're much less interested in a, as a core motivator to hang out with us. We have to learn how to convince them that we are safe and we're cool to hang out with. So it's about learning how to set up an environment for your chicken flock where you and they can be calm together. Because having a calm flock where you're meeting their needs, and I've got videos about that, will help you to build that calm relationship with the animals that you're keeping. So chickens can help you nut that out at a pretty low risk, low investment place of uh, coming into it. Because if you have invested heavily into the absolute best sheep pen you can absolutely think of, and then you find out that actually the sheep don't agree that it's actually the best thing ever, you've got a lot of time and money invested in that setup that's gone wrong. If you've got chickens and you've made some mistakes in the setup, it's pretty cheap and easy to change things around and make it better for them so you can learn without having too much risk. One thing you'll learn about having chickens is you can't force a chicken to do something it doesn't want to do, at least not easily. So you have to learn how to work with chicken behavior to get them to do the things that you need them to do. And that is absolutely true of all the other livestock species too. They are not super motivated to just do what they're told and comply with your commands. So you need to understand how they work, how they move in order to set up a system that works for handling them. So as an example, 
Learning how to move and guide and herd chickens is a really valuable skill that can apply to other prey species that like to be in herds, just like sheep and goats and cows. There are some differences, but the basics of how you need to move, how you need to think, and the systems you sort of need to follow to make chickens go the way you want them to go when you're trying to move them somewhere is the same across, across most herd prey species. So specifically what I mean when I'm talking about this is things like learning how much pressure you can put on the animal before they freak out and lose their mind and are not learning or listening anymore. So it's about how close you can approach them, when you need to back off, and how you need to position your body, whether you're pushing them or getting them to calm down. So then there are ways you can set that up to make it easier for you. Running around your entire backyard trying to catch a chicken is not a quick and efficient way of doing it. So here I have set up a catch pen at the very end of the chicken run where I can herd my flock of chickens through and they've only got one option of where to go and I get more than one person to help me and we calmly guide them down into the catch pen and close them in and then they are contained. And that's a nice, simple, easy way if I have to go in and catch a chicken who doesn't particularly want to be caught. Now, if your chickens are just super tame and they're like, why are you waving a stick at me? It's totally fine. Well, that's great. But there will be instances where your flock has gotten a fright and they have decided they're not tame anymore or any number of things. So it's really good to have the skills to know how to calmly move a group of animals to where you actually want them to go. So if you're dreaming of one day having a farm or a homestead full of all sorts of different farm animals, go ahead and get yourself a flock of chickens and start learning about how to handle chickens. It's going to teach you so much you need to know to really help you handle all the other kinds of livestock safely, especially if you want to get pigs because you absolutely can't force a pig to do anything it doesn't want to do. So figure out how how to manipulate your chicken flock into doing the things you need them to do and you're gonna be well on your way. Chickens are low risk, high reward. Go and get yourself some.